Hello everybody and welcome back to this Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial and in this one I'll be going over how to build this super simple 1.18 zombie and skeleton grinder. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a torch on top of the spawner that way there are no zombies spawning when you're building the farm. After that what you want to do is you want to mine out the walls so that there are four blocks away from the spawner in every direction including the ceiling and floor so when we're done we're going to be left with a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine cube. The next thing you want to do is you want to fill in all of the gaps in your 9x9 nine nine. like this used to be a cave. You just want to block these off that way no extra mobs are dropping in to your spawner because that could cause issues especially if there's things like creepers or spiders those will cause issues but if we come here now we can set down our water buckets along the side of the spawner that we want the mobs to not flow towards so whatever side that you want your killing chamber to be place the water on the opposite side of the room. I know it sounds confusing, but it'll make sense a little bit later on in the video. Now what you wanna do is you wanna mine out this strip right here, just one block more. Place a water bucket in this corner and a water bucket in this corner. Then where they meet up, you just wanna dig a hole right here until the water stream stops. Then what you wanna do is you wanna mine down four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. Then you want to mine out this area right here and oh we got some diamonds well that's pretty lucky so now what we're going to do here is we're going to set up our killing chamber so you want to take a hopper run it into that block right there and then mine out these blocks place down a double chest just like so and this is going to be our collection system so if you wanted to add more storage all you would have to do is place a hopper underneath of this one and another double chest so double chest a hopper and then whatever you throw into this hopper will end up in this double chest right here and then when this gets filled up this one will fill and so on and so forth so this is your killing chamber so you can decorate this place however you would like make it your own make it a little base add an enchantment table i think that'd be really really cool but from here what you want to do is you want to mine out all of these blocks place down a half slab right here a half slab right here and a trap door right here and then, oh, that felt really bad. I really didn't want to break this. <laughs> All right, so now what you want to do is you want to go back up and we're going to break that torch. All right, so it's really easy. All you have to do is break this torch. Zombies will immediately spawn. Place a half slab on top of the spawner and then just block this wall up again. Drop back down and then they should fall down here nice and quick. And what you want to do is you want to set up some sort of auto clicking method have mending on your sword and then just sit here and auto click away they might take a couple hits to kill but that's totally okay because if you drop them any lower then they are not going to spawn in the spawner but right here we've got nice good rates and this is perfect so all of their drops are going to end up right here all of the XP is going to end up in our inventory. And as you can see, if I go into game mode S, this baby zombie won't be able to hit me. But we can perfectly see him. We've got perfect hits on him. And this is the perfect system for killing zombies. Look, we're already level six, but I did kill a couple zombies. Um, but yeah, so it is that simple. I'm gonna decorate my chamber and then I'll get back to you. All right, so I built up my spawner room and I've got some storage, crafting bench and a furnace, a way to escape, but that doesn't lead anywhere, but don't tell the viewers that. Uh, but I've got my enchantment table here, so then you can go and get your levels and then enchant. Actually, in fact, we should probably place a grindstone. But uh, yeah, so that's that. And then we are gonna come here and we're just gonna kill all of the zombies. So I was working on that for probably about 10 minutes tops and this is how many zombies there are it's actually pretty crazy um but yeah so this is super efficient and it was super simple and super cheap you can see all of the xp is being collected up in the hopper if we just go a little closer we can collect that up so that's useful for if you're trying to grind up on mending for your pickaxe or something it'll get trapped in the hopper and then you can collect up all of that xp later when you walk into it with your pickaxe or something so this is a really good early starter xp farm but uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did find this video useful or helpful in any way, shape, or form, please do consider smashing that subscribe button. It really would mean the world to me, and I will catch you guys in the next one.